Hello, I am from my in the house. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. I remember I will say Lawa or Lushala Lawa. And in case you are watching for the first time, this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. Everything we do on this channel uh, is all about agriculture and food security. On today's episode, uh, we will be discussing a very, very important disease that affects oil palm farmers. And the disease is no other one than the bunch rot disease. So as you might have guessed, it's a disease that affects the bunches uh, of the oil palm, causing damages, causing uh, decrease in output and even economic loss. So it's a very, very deadly and destructive disease if not taken care of. So on this, to this episode, we are going to be looking at the disease as a whole. We are going to be talking about how it spread, what are the conditions that support the disease, how it can be prevented on your farm, and if it has happened on your farm, what are the treatment options that are available for you. So uh, what is bunch rot disease? As the name implies, this is a disease that affects the bunches of the oil palm, making them to rot away. And in most cases, you will see the bunches turning black, totally black. And you'll be seeing some kind of fungus uh, uh, decomposition, like a kind of a rotting mass appearing, white mass appearing all over the, all over the bunches it is it can be irritating sometimes and it will be oozing foul smell uh it's a very very uh ugly it can be a very very ugly ugly scenario so what is the organism that is responsible for this the organism that is responsible for the causing of this disease is a fungi because it is a fungal disease so the name of the organism is marasmus palmivorous so that is the name of the disease, and it attacks the bunches by turning it to be, to be bad. The, 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 the bunches will become bad. So what are the conditions that promote or that support this kind of uh, diseases? The number one condition that supports bunch rot disease is high humidity. And in a situation whereby everything is just wet, 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 the humidity is high within the farm and there is no free flow of air. Another thing that supports this disease is uh, injury. When you, maybe during harvesting, you are injuring your tree, you are cutting the front, or maybe during pruning or during harvesting, you are cutting the front too much, you are cutting the bunches and it is. It is causing some kind of injury to the trunk of the oil palm. So this kind of injury will give uh, way for the disease, for the fungal disease to come in and affect your, uh, your trees. That is why it is very, very uh, important for you to take note, to be very, very careful when you are doing some farming operation like pruning and like uh, harvesting on your farm to avoid uh, injury. And also we have some pathogens that also spread this disease on the farm uh, we have like beds we have a uh, rodent also and uh, yes those are the conditions that support uh, the disease so how can we now prevent so the number one way by which we can prevent the occurrence of this kind of disease on our farm is by maintaining a good sanitation make sure your farm is not bushy now if your farm becomes bushy it provides accommodation for disease and pest let's even leave disease out of it it provides accommodation for pests to harbor on your farm and pests are like vectors for disease they will carry they will not only come to destroy your crop they will come with disease on their body and they will transmit those disease on your plant so the number one thing to prevent this kind of thing is to make sure that you maintain proper sanitation. That is number one. Number two is to make sure that you are not injuring or causing injury in, on the body of your oil palm by making an opening for 
this kind of organism to come in and attack your trees. So that is another thing. So uh, another thing is that you have to make sure you have the wide spacing. Plant your oil palm tree on the standard spacing. This will give room for interflow of hair, cross ventilation in your plantation, and it will help you to reduce humidity. And if you remember very well, I say high humidity is one of the factors that promote this disease. So if your trees are well spaced out, that kind of uh, humidity will not uh, be able to gather on your farm. And another thing is that, another thing is that, uh, make sure you prune your trees accordingly. Don't just abandon your trees without pruning. Trees that are not pruned are more susceptible to these kind of uh, diseases. So in a situation whereby you already have uh, this disease on your farm, before I go there, another way by which you can, uh, you can take care of this thing is that you make sure you treat or you, 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 you clean your harvesting material, your harvesting uh, equipment, I mean, before you use them. So in the case whereby you already have them on your plant, on your farm already, it is advisable for you to remove them and you take it away to avoid uh, spread on your farm. So, or if you want to go the chemical way, you have to spray fungicide. And the fungicide that I will recommend for you uh, will be mancoseb. You spray the mancoseb fungicide on the affected trees. And when you are taking the bunches out, the ones that are really, really bad affected, you have to take them out of the farm and go and bury them somewhere to avoid the breeding of the disease on your farm. So just make sure you maintain proper sanitation. You make sure you prune your trees very well and you make sure you don't cause injury to your farm. And in case you are having them already or you just want to prevent, you spray a uh, mancoseb fungicide on your farm. With this, I've come to the end of today's uh, topic and I hope you got value from this uh, video, from this episode, one way or the other. If you actually got value from this episode, kindly give it a like, share with your friends and leave it behind the comment. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Sheshe. Sheshe.